Prince Harry is reportedly seriously considering reconciling with the royal family and return home to the UK, a celeb astrologer studying the Duke of Sussex has claimed. According to Emile Adame, who made the comments on an episode of the To Deeper Daily podcast, Prince Harry wants to reconnect with his family and has been having conversations about the same with wife Meghan Markle. Adame stated, I feel that he's actively trying right now. Whether or not it will be well received, whether or not it will amount to anything in the future. I can't really see that at this moment. The astrologer then detailed how the Duke of Sussex has been having marital issues because of this issue, as his wife Meghan believes she doesn't belong with his family, making the conversation sensitive. The conversations are part of their issue that they're having personally together, Adame claimed. She added, Of course, he loves his wife and his kids and his heart is with them too. But he is having some regret right now with the way that things were handled. Prince Harry and Meghan moved away from the UK in their royal duties in 2020, with Harry only returning home twice since and Meghan, never. In other news, Harry shared a close bond with his late grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh, who died almost one year ago. Both men also proudly served in the military. Philip served in the Royal Navy in his youth and undertook service in the Mediterranean and Pacific during World War II. He was also mentioned in dispatches for his service during the Battle of Cape Matapan, in which he manned his battleship's searchlights. The Duke was later given honorary roles with the fleet and Royal Marines. While his grandson Harry served in the army for ten years, rising to the rank of captain. During his military career, the Duke of Sussex, 37, undertook two tours of Afghanistan. Before he went off to the war-torn country, Harry once shared the blunt words of advice his grandfather gave him about seeing active service. He said the late Philip was very matter-of-fact during their conversation before he departed. In the documentary Prince Philip, the royal family remembers, Harry recalled that his granddad simply told him, make sure you come back alive. Harry told the documentary, going off to Afghanistan, he was very matter-of-fact and just said, make sure you come back alive. Then when I came back, there wasn't a deep level of discussion, more a case of, well you made it. How was it? That's how he was. He was very much a listener, he sort of set the scene for you to be able to share as much as you wanted to share but he would never probe. Since quitting royal duties and moving to America in 2020, Prince Harry has only returned to the UK on two occasions and never with his family in tow. Last year, the Duke of Sussex returned to Britain to attend the funeral for the late Duke of Edinburgh in April. His grandfather's funeral was restricted to close family and friends due to COVID restrictions in place at the time. Just 30 guests attended the somber occasion. Following the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, Harry is understood to have returned to Frogmore Cottage, the property he and wife Meghan were gifted by the Queen following their 2018 wedding. This was in line with COVID rules in force at the time, which stated that people traveling to the UK must isolate for 10 days. It is understood that he was allowed to attend the funeral on compassionate grounds, but the rules stated he must remain in isolation at all other times. However, the Duke of Sussex did not make a trip back to the UK to attend Philip's memorial service last week. This made him the Duke of Edinburgh's only grandchild not to be in attendance. While no specific reason for his absence was cited, there is speculation that his ongoing row with the Home Office over security prevented him from making the trip. In January, a legal representative for the Duke of Sussex announced that he was challenging a decision by the Home Office not to allow his family police protection when he is on UK soil. Within the statement, Harry's lawyer claimed he inherited a security risk at birth, for a life which necessitated the need for such security measures. The Sussexes received taxpayer-funded police protection when they were working royals but lost this when they stepped back in March 2020. Harry's legal rep claims the Sussexes' privately hired security team cannot match the level of security Scotland Yard officers would provide. The spokesperson added, the UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in with the lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk.